we often find ourselves refactoring code. This process can be tedious, and simple syntax or typo errors can be annoying to deal with. PHPStorm comes to the rescue with their refactor feature. It automates the processes which we often repeat. We are looking at two PHP classes. The one on the right is the base class. The one on the left is a class that's just extending the base class. So let's see if we can go and refactor this. Right away, you can see we have two methods, save and cost. By the way, this is not production code. It's just example code. It's not real world. So there is string to lower here, and it's here twice. So let's put this into a method. All you need to do is highlight it, right click, go to refactor, go to extract, and select method. Let's just make the visibility public for now. The name, we can just change that to format type. You can see it's already detected our parameter. We hit refactor. And it says it's detected one code fragment. Would you like to review and replace it? Yes. Do you want to replace this occurrence because there's one recurrence there? Hit replace. And it's done it for us. So you can see we have format type as our new method. It's declared our return type. It's also replaced format here and format there. So that's very helpful. But now what if you want this in the base class? All you need to do is right click anywhere in the class, go to refactor, and pull members up. Then you can select which methods you would like to move. We would like to remove the format type. We can choose which class we want to send it to and hit refactor. So just a little bit of cleaning up there. And we have public function format type. Brilliant. We also have it here and here just as was. So that's excellent. But now what if we want to rename format? Again, we'd have to re rename it here, here, here. What we can do instead is right click, go to refactor, hit rename. And we can just say format. Hit enter. Method to be renamed format is format type. Then there's references in the code, so it shows you where it's being used. We just want to hit do refactor, and it's done it for us. So this saves a lot of time. There's also shortcuts to do these processes or features, and you can find them just by right-clicking, going to refactor, and it usually says it right next to it. You can see change control F6. So, so thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button.